वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्केलर और डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स द स्केलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नॉन जीरो वेक्टर्स A and B is given by vector A dot vector B is equal to magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into cos theta, where this theta is the angle between vector A and vector B, and theta is greater than equal to zero and less than equal to pi. If in case vector A is equal to zero or vector B is equal to zero, then theta is not defined, and in this case, vector A dot vector B is equal to zero. The scalar product vector A dot vector B. Is a real number. Now we have a and b are two non-zero vectors. Then vector a dot vector b is equal to zero if and only if vector a and vector b are perpendicular to each other. Now in this, if we have Theta is equal to zero. Then vector a dot vector b is equal to magnitude of vector a into magnitude of vector b. And if we have theta is equal to pi, then vector a dot vector b is equal to minus magnitude of vector a into magnitude of vector b. And if i cap, j cap, k cap are mutually perpendicular unit vectors, then we have i cap dot i cap is equal to j cap dot j cap is equal to k cap dot k cap is equal to one, and i cap dot j cap is equal to j cap dot k cap is equal to k cap dot i cap is equal to zero. And also from the formula of the scalar product, we see that cos theta is equal to vector a dot vector b upon magnitude of vector a into magnitude of vector b, or we get theta is equal to cos inverse vector a dot vector b upon Magnitude of vector a into magnitude of vector b. Also, scalar product is commutative. That is, we have vector a dot vector b is equal to vector b dot vector a. Now we shall discuss properties of scalar product. The first property is distributivity. Of scalar product over addition. According to this, we have if vector a, vector b, vector c are any three vectors, then vector a dot vector b plus vector c is equal to vector a dot vector b. Plus vector a dot vector c. And now the next property is if a and b are any two vectors and lambda be any scalar, then we have lambda into vector a dot vector b is equal to lambda into vector a dot vector b equal to vector a dot 
लामडा इंटू वेक्टर बी कंसिडर वेक्टर ए इक्वल टू आई कैप माइनस टू जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप एंड वेक्टर बी इक्वल टू थ्री आई कैप माइनस टू जे कैप प्लस के कैप देन इफ थीटा इज द एंगल बिटवीन the vectors a and b then we have cos theta is equal to vector a dot vector b upon magnitude of vector a into magnitude of vector b this is equal to i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap dot 3i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap upon square root of 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 3 square multiplied by 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square so this becomes equal to 3 Plus four plus three upon square root fourteen into square root fourteen. So this becomes equal to five upon seven. That is, we get cos theta is equal to five upon seven, or we can say theta is equal to cos inverse five upon seven. Next, we shall discuss projection of a vector on a line. Suppose a vector ab makes an angle theta with a given directed line l in anti clockwise direction then we have projection of vector ab on line l is given by the vector p where this vector p is called the projection vector and magnitude of vector p is given as magnitude of vector ab into cos theta magnitude of vector p is simply called the projection of the vector ab on line l and direction of p is the same or opposite to that of line l depending upon whether cos theta is positive or negative if p cap is a unit vector along a line l then projection of vector a on line l is given by vector a dot p cap also projection of vector a on vector b is given by vector a dot b cap which is also equal to vector a dot vector b upon magnitude of vector b that is equal to 1 upon magnitude of vector b into vector a dot vector b and if we have theta is equal to 0 then projection vector of vector ab will be vector ab itself and if theta is equal to pi then projection vector of vector ab will be vector ba also if we have theta equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 then projection vector of vector ab will be zero vector consider vector a equal to i cap minus j cap and vector b equal to 
I cap plus J cap, then projection of vector A on vector B is given by 1 upon magnitude of vector B into vector A dot vector B, which is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 square plus 1 square into I cap minus J cap dot I cap plus J cap. This is equal to 1 minus 1 upon square root 2 which is equal to 0. So we get projection of vector A on vector B is 0. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the scalar product of two vectors.